Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, staff and students, it is my great pleasure to warmly welcome you to the virtual graduation service of Haldeba College of Higher Education. We, as staff members, are disappointed that we are not able to physically welcome you to the traditional service due to the impacts of COVID-19. And even though this virtual graduation service is not a replacement for a physical ceremony, it is important to still commemorate the special occasion. These past two years have been particularly challenging for thousands of students worldwide. And you yourself have had to adapt and grow during these difficult times. Nonetheless, to the class of 2021, I wish to offer you my warmest congratulations on your academic success. Today, you have reached the culmination of many years of dedication and hard work. My heartfelt congratulations goes to you and your families, and my very best wishes are extended for your personal and professional successes in the future. Welcome, one and all. Hi everybody, I just want to also congratulate you from my side and I want to share something with you that really touched my life and it is a poem written by Sir Francis Drake and I'm sure many of you know this but I still want to share it with you. Disturb us Lord when we are too well pleased with ourselves, when our dreams have come true because we dream too little, when we arrive safely because we sail too close to the shore. Disturb us, Lord, with, when with the abundance of things we possess, we have lost our thirst for the waters of life. Having fallen in love with life, we have ceased to dream of eternity. And in our efforts to build a new earth, we have allowed our vision of the new heaven to dim. Disturb us, Lord, to dare more boldly, to venture on wider seas, where storms will show your mastery. We're losing sight of land, we shall find the stars. We ask you to push back the horizons of our hopes and to push us into the future in strength, courage, hope, and love. So please, I urge you guys, do not lose focus on what is really important and let the Lord disturb you when you become too well pleased with what you have accomplished. Always reach for more, always try to achieve more. Thank you. Congratulations, everyone. This is such a special time, and we are really proud of you that you have finished your studies. We are happy that you managed, although there was difficult times that you went through in all aspects of life, but you here right now and we're really really happy for it let's ask the lord to bless this program let's bow our heads dear heavenly father god we want to thank you because you made this possible lord we know that you have been with each one of the students throughout their journey it has been difficult but lord you have never failed us thank you lord that we can celebrate the culmination of these studies in this way and that you have provided for us, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to bless this program. We ask you, Lord, to bless the students, the parents, the sponsors and friends that they are watching today. Thank you, Lord, for everything you do for us. We ask your presence in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Dr. Dave Spencer, Chancellor of Elderberg College of Higher Education. Dr. Tanki Solitsedi, President of Elderberg College of Higher Education. Mrs. Catherine Kabuti Njekwa, Director of Education at the Southern Africa Union Conference of the Seventh day Adventist Church. Members of Elderberg College, Council, faculty members, staff, our graduates, parents, guardians, sponsors, friends of Helderberg College, ladies and gentlemen. It affords me a great honor and privilege to introduce to you our guest speaker, 
for the 2021 graduation ceremony, Professor Den Khwadi. Professor Den Khwadi was born on the 28th of July, 1967, at Kraipan Village in the Northwest Province, South Africa. He is the current Vice Chancellor of the Northwest University and was appointed to this position as from April 2014. Prior to his appointment as Vice Chancellor, Professor Khwadi served as the first director of the Northwest University, Mafiken Campus. He started his term as campus rector on 1 January 2005. His leadership has been most profound as he continued to guide the campus through the challenges of transformation and a changing environment. Through his management skills, he established good relations and partnerships for the campus locally and internationally. Prior to his appointment to the position of Mafiken campus rector, Professor Khwadi served as the senior manager, assessment coordinator at the National Nuclear Regulator, the head of physics, Department at the Val University of Technology, lecturer and head of physics department at the University of Northwest, research and teaching assistant at Ball State University, and a physics teacher at Patsima High School. Professor Khwadi obtained the Educational Opportunities Council Scholarship, EOC, to study at the Ball University, Ball State University in the United States of America. In recognition of his high scholarship in physics, he was admitted to the Sigma Pi Sigma Honor Society. He has been a member of numerous professional bodies and chaired the education subgroup of the South African Institute of Physics. Professor Khwadi supervised and served as an external examiner to master's and PhD students in the field of physics, education, and radiation physics. Professor Khwadi was the deputy chairperson of Umalusi Council, and he at the same time served as the chairperson of the Assessment Standards Committee of Council. Professor Khwadi has the following degrees. B.Sc. Physics and Chemistry from the University of Putatswana. Master of Science Physics from Ball State University, United States of America. M.Phil. Environmental Law and Management from the University of the North in the Republic of South Africa. Ph.D. Physics Education from Pochistrum University, Republic of South Africa, PhD Management Honoris Causa from Hansu University, South Korea. Professor Khwadi recently completed the Oxford Executive Leadership Program at the Said Business School of the University of Oxford. Due to his courageous character, Professor Khwadi completed the skydiving course and obtained a skydiving certificate for successful jumps from the American Parachute Association. Like a real traveler, Professor Dan Khwadi does not believe in arriving. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our guest speaker for the 2021 graduations a professor Dan Khwadi. Thank you very much. Helderbeck College being a Christian college, it will be proper for me to greet you all in the powerful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ opposed to a secular institutions where some of us operate. Uh, one will have to be careful in terms of being that specific. We always tend to be general 
on religious matters. I really am standing here to congratulate the graduates uh, of the college for the work well done. It was quite a period, four years at minimum of hard work. And it was not just four weeks of hard work. The two years thereof, we know how hard it was worldwide. The COVID-19 posed a lot of challenges to all of us and to you students the most. You had to adjust to different modes of learning that you were not used to, online being one of them, and I'm quite sure Helderberg College was no exception to this as well. You had to adjust also to different circumstances at home. Some of us, in the process of learning and studying, lost the beloved ones, must have lost parents, and let us say their soul rest in peace for all those that we have lost during this very tough period across the world and we are still going through such. Now we are responding here this morning to a call, here am I, send me. This is a call for service that we are responding to. You've been preparing yourself for the past four years to save and now you are ready. The college is here now dishing out what it has been preparing for the four years at most, at minimum, I must say. Now, we really need to be ready for that. Let's be ready for the world that we are now going to. It's a world that the president would say in his words, Tumamina. Tumamina, President Ramaphosa in South Africa would say Tumamina because he says, I am ready to save. And you also, our dear students, we hope and we are actually quite confident because that is what we've been preparing to save. You are ready to go and save. But you just don't save as servants. You are also leaders. Very important to take note of that. You cannot go through a program of study of four years, three to four years, and come out to be a follower. You are there as a leader. And leadership is something that is very key. No one can tell us that he is not a leader. Starting from your homes, some of you could be the first graduates in the whole clan, first graduates of the family. Then you are called to provide leadership. When you say, here am I, send me Lord, you are saying you are, there, you are ready to go and provide leadership. It is indeed a response to a very noble call. Leadership is something that uh, I would don't want to say it's a rare commodity, but not many of us are masters of that. And hence you see the country, and worldwide I can say, because I'm quite aware that at the Helderberg College, some of you come from different countries. Uh, you cannot tell me that you are not faced with leadership challenges. Wherever we are, leadership, so please, we are sending you out here as graduates of this college to go and be exemplary leaders throughout there. I want to, in a very, very special way, congratulate you for the work well done, for working hard, for working smart. But I also want to congratulate your, your, your parents, your parents, your sponsors. You also need to go and convey the same to them really contributed and work hard in making sure you are the product you are today. And therefore, we can say to you and the teachers, the lecturers at college who have been working hard with you throughout the period, do and convey their, your sincere appreciation to them. I am saying on your behalf today to those college lecturers, the doctors, professors there in the college, Thank you very much. You've done a great job. You can pat yourself in the soldiers for the work that you have done. Go ye therefore, our products. You understand what I mean. Go ye therefore and save. Uh, you must know that uh, the call to service is not an ordinary one. 
Not everybody can serve. We can all get degrees and diplomas from institutions, but not all of us can really make good service out of those. In addition to the degree, the certificate that you are getting here today, you must know that what is also important is your character. The character that goes along with that certificate will make you a unique person. The degrees are all the same. I can give you the statistics of how many degrees we offer countrywide and worldwide, the same as the one you are getting today. But you and your character are the only ones that can make a difference in that. Now, in closing, I must say, we are not ushering you into an easy world. Lots of challenges out there. You know, the unemployment rate in South Africa, I don't know other countries, here we are talking about 34.4% unemployment rate. This is quite a challenge. If uh, you're hoping to get a job, I'll tell you it's not easy today with you as it was during our times when we got our degrees. And therefore, the same Lord that carried you, that you're thanking for this achievement, you'll still need him to guide you going forward. It is therefore important for you to keep relying on the Lord. Ask him, for he can give you more than you can ever ask or even imagine. Let me congratulate you, thank the college management, and I must also thank the staff of the college and yourselves for this great achievement. Thank you. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the Chair of the Helderberg College of Higher Education Council, I hereby declare that the candidates that will be presented today have satisfactorily completed all the requirements for their respective programs. As determined by the College, as registered by the Department of Higher Education and Training, accredited by the Council on Higher Education and Training, accredited by the Council on Higher Education and the Adventist Accrediting Association and as per the qualifications registered on the National Qualifications Framework by the South African Qualifications Authority. I call upon the Registrar to please announce the candidates. Chair of the Helderberg College of Higher Education Council, Dr. David Spencer. I am pleased to introduce to you 59 candidates who have completed all the requirements of their various programs as prescribed by Helderberg College of Higher Education. This is the 18th year that Helderberg College of Higher Education is conferring certificates, diplomas and degrees based on its registration with the Department of Higher Education and Training, accreditation by the Council on Higher Education and the res registration of the qualifications on the National Qualifications Framework by the South African Qualifications Authority. With regard to the class of 2021, I hereby verify that the students have fulfilled all the academic requirements of their respective programs. There are 13 candidates from the Faculty of Business, 26 from the Faculty of Social Sciences and Education, and 20 candidates from the Faculty of Theology. This being the 95th graduation ceremony on this campus, the 59 candidates will join the 3,011 that graduated from Helderberg College and Helderberg College of Higher Education over the past 90 years, making a total of 3,073. They will also join the 31 from Union College and 32 from Spionkop College the two predecessors of Helderberg College, making a grand total of 3,133. I will now present the candidates. Higher Certificate in Office Management, John D. Hoogbart, Aisha Lotz, Lene Sauls, Bachelor of Commerce in Accounting, Robin Gilson, Isaac Kaneka, Bachelor of Business Administration in Management, Michael Arm, Maba Bandile Made, Obekeng Mafache, Bongiwe Mashiyane, 
Catherine Muzanin Hamo, Hangwell Lani Netanzeni, Aaron Setla Chile, Fenio Setla Chile, Bachelor of Arts in Communication, Kuchle Konke Bonga, Sebenguane Chauke Cum Laude, Nalisa Mfabana, Patience Mpofu, Sipole Sichle Nkumalo, Odidi Sigudla, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Enrique Barnard Cum Laude, Dumase Chitsanja, Jeridi Chomi, cum laude. Kim Dreyer, Sean Harris, cum laude. Esichle Ngali, Kalojo Mojolefa, cum laude. Jody Prince, Christian Rafoto, Tato Yaone, Senjatso, Vuzumuzi Sikukula, Lorato Sneiman, Jesse van der Poel, Magna Cum Laude, Sikulindele Clamela, Bachelor of Education in Foundation Phase Teaching, Ilka Davids, Zitsile Schlanze, Magna Cum Laude. Chloe Joseph, Shante Pretorius, cum laude. Anthea Rana, Melanie Swartz, cum laude. Bachelor of Arts in Theology, Terence Kutsia, Jabolile Glamini, Spakamiso Glamini, Vessel Furi, cum laude. Daniel Chruvier, cum laude. Songhezo Hele, Ayanda Mdanyana. Mfichlo Mshlongo. Ian Mlalazi. David Mkosi, cum laude. Cum laude program research project, the cosmological inclusion, Romans 8. Verse 22. Monde Nchacha, Sakile Nkumalo, Cum Laude. Darren Orkes, Philip Perch, Cum Laude. Alvin Sibanda, Abenati Sogiba, Cum Laude. Jonathan Turon, Robin Thorne Magna, Cum Laude. Zoitwa Chehume. It is my privilege to announce the recipient of this year's Studia Award. This award of academic excellence goes to the student who has attained the highest average of the graduating class of 2021. This year, the award goes to a graduate from the Bachelor of Education in foundation phase teaching, namely Zitsile Hlanze. Zitsile graduates with a cumulative average of 89%. Zitsile, congratulations. We know that the children that you are going to teach are getting an exceptional teacher, and we wish you all of the best in your career. Thank you. I would like to take this time to congratulate each graduating student, together with the significant others, that is parents, relatives, and sponsors, who ensured their support. A graduation is a community project because behind any student who graduates, there is a community of sponsors, cheerleaders, and prayer warriors. 
As you receive this degree, remember that you are carrying the community of supporters with you, and you are receiving this degree, this achievement, achievement for yourself, and on behalf of the community of supporters. Our students' experiences find expression in the words of our former state pres president, that is Thabo Mbeki, when he remarked, I quote, those who complete the course will do so only because they do not, as fatigue sets in, convince themselves that the road ahead is still too long, the inclines too steep, the loneliness impossible to bear, and the prize itself of doubtful value, end of quote. Your graduation motto reads, here am I, send me. This statement points to your readiness to serve. Your motto echoes the sentiments of Ellen G. White when she said, we are woven together in the great web of humanity and whatever we can do to benefit and uplift others will reflect in blessing upon ourselves. We thank God the Almighty for your success. Thank you. Esteemed graduates, I now charge you with the responsibility that accompanies the distinction and privilege of, a, of receiving a degree from Helderberg College. We read in the book of Job, chapter 28, verse 28, Behold, the fear of the Lord is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. So, true wisdom grows out of a relationship with Him who will enable you to develop the fullest life possible. You have an enviable position as a holder of a university degree and on the continent of Africa. Your obligations to the church and society are therefore serious responsibilities. Make your lecturers proud. Their greatest sense of fulfillment and satisfaction will be in knowing that Jesus Christ is guiding your life and service. I charge you to always aim at being true, fair, honest, pure, lovely, gracious, and admirable. And that comes from Philippians 4 verse 8. I charge you to live a life fully devoted to God and goodness, and to have concern and compassion for your fellow human beings. Be a true witness in the world to the one who has created and redeemed all of us. Seek justice, seek friendship and laughter, sharing with others the kindness and sympathy of heaven. I also charge you to continue the search for truth and knowledge. Speak in love and compassion. Add to the common store of knowledge. Be diligent in your labor and work in wisdom to make the most of the time you have at hand. We honor you today as esteemed sons and daughters of Helderberg College. This institution sends you forth today to represent the worthy ideals of your alma mater and to serve mankind wherever you will be needed. May God, our Heavenly Father, bless you day by day. May Jesus Christ, our Savior, be your constant choice of encouragement, strength, and motivation. May God, our Heavenly Father, bless you day by day. May Jesus Christ, our Savior, be your constant source of encouragement, strength, and motivation. And may the Holy Spirit comfort you and guide you into all truth. That is my wish for you. Please bow your heads together with me as we ask for God's blessing as we close the ceremony. Mighty Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessings that you have bestowed upon us, Lord. We thank you that in each step of this journey, you have been by our side. You have carried us through. You have um, helped us. You have supported us. You have encouraged us and comforted us. We thank you, Lord, that we can celebrate today. And we pray that as we take the next step, as we move forward, that you will please continue to help us to grow, help us to be a blessing to those around us, and continue to help us to 
prepare ourselves for service in your kingdom. I pray that you'll be with each family represented here today. I pray for each graduate that you please continue to abide with them as they move forward to their next projects, their next adventure. This I pray in Jesus' blessed name. Amen.